Wealthy people are known to be very exclusive in who they date, and this is true for one of the biggest supermodels of the world, Naomi Campbell. The British supermodel and Vladislav Dornin had a passionate relationship that attracted the eyes and envy of many people. She was beautiful, and he was extremely wealthy. Today, we take a deeper look into the superstar's life and her ultra-private love story with her billionaire Russian beau, also known as the Russian Donald Trump, Vladislav Doronin. When did their relationship start? How did he fall in love with her? Why did they break up? Do they have children? Stay tuned and make sure to watch until the end of the video. Let's get started. Naomi Elaine Campbell made her name as a supermodel in the 80s and 90s. The beloved was known as one of the best top models of her generation, alongside Cindy Crawford, Linda Evangelista, Claudia Schiffer, and Kate Moss. Campbell's career took off in the late 1980s, and she became one of the most sought-after supermodels of her generation. She has graced the covers of numerous fashion magazines and worked with renowned designers and photographers. Naomi Campbell was the first black model to appear on the covers of French Vogue and Time magazine. She has walked the runway for top fashion houses like Versace, Chanel, and Dolce & Gabbana. In addition to her modeling career, Campbell has ventured into acting, appearing in films and television shows. The Black Panther, as she is affectionately called, is also known for her feisty temper and her candid character. Campbell is certainly not one to mess with. She is very private about her romantic life, so it leaves us wondering who are the men she's had long-term relationships with. The famous supermodel has had several high-profile relationships over the years. Those include former heavyweight boxing champion Mike Tyson, Flavio Briatore, who she was engaged to, and finally the Russian billionaire Vladislav Doronin. <music> Naomi Campbell and Vladislav Doronin reportedly met at the Cannes Film Festival in 2008. They were introduced to each other at a party, and their relationship blossomed from there. Just like that, it was the beginning of a seriously passionate romance between the two. It was reported that Vlad was her rock and brought stability to her top model lifestyle. A friend of Naomi even once said to a magazine, things were ordered when Naomi was with him. I felt her life had a bit more balance, a bit more discipline. Vladislav Doronin is a Russian businessman and real estate developer. He is best known for his involvement in ultra-exclusive real estate projects and for being the founder of The Capital Group, a real estate development company. Dornan has been involved in various high-profile real estate developments, including luxury resorts, hotels, and residential properties all over the world. The businessman's fortune is estimated at an astounding $1 billion, which places him among the top 1% richest people in the world. While he was very much low profile before, he suddenly rose to fame in 2008 when he began dating the British supermodel. Their high-profile relationship attracted a lot of media attention during their time together. As a couple, they were often seen at various exclusive events and traveling together. Despite their different worlds, they found common ground in their shared values and a deep love for art, culture, and giving back to society. Their connection deepened as they spent more time together, attending charity events, fashion shows, and extravagant galas. Similar to the story of Cleopatra and Anthony, the connection between Naomi and Vlad involves two influential individuals. Naomi added elegance to his hotels and properties, and he reciprocated with exceptional treatment. Vlad showered her with expensive gifts that only a king would get his queen. Among others, gifts include a $170 million I-shaped vacation house on a private island in Turkey, and a $200 million mansion in the elite neighborhood of Rubliovka in Moscow. The breathtaking house was designed by the famous Palestinian architect Zaha Hadid. The house was sketched by Naomi Campbell herself while they were on a romantic getaway. The supermodel creatively drew the sketch of her dream house at the back of a napkin, and within a couple months, her billionaire Prince Charming made it reality. The real estate mogul and Naomi reportedly enjoyed a passionate love affair with Naomi throwing him an incredible three-day 50th birthday party in India in 2012. Diana Ross, Demi Moore, and Kate Moss were reportedly there. Unfortunately, in 2013, the couple sadly separated for reasons still undisclosed to this day.
They concluded their five-year relationship after a short break because the Russian billionaire was too swept up in the celebrity lifestyle that the supermodel is part of, according to a close source of Naomi. Naomi counts stars like Leo DiCaprio and Diddy as part of her social circle. But unlike Vlad, she views partying with her celeb friends as work, not as play. The British supermodel has had her fair share of exposure while Vlad was just getting started. Such differences were irreversible, and according to sources, she decided to end the relationship despite all the love and affection she had for him. An intimate source close to Naomi said, In many ways, their relationship is like a business arrangement. Naomi brings glamour to his hotels and properties, and he treats her extremely well. But they spend a lot of time apart due to work commitments. Just when you thought the two were done, things got even uglier when Naomi sued her ex for items he allegedly owed her. Lo and behold, in 2021, Vladislav sued his model ex-girlfriend for $3 million in return. The billionaire claims she is the one that owes him items and gifts he offered her during their time together. The Russian billionaire looks like he really does not want to cut ties with her by any means necessary. In 2021, Campbell revealed that she welcomed her first child, a daughter, at the age of 51. I always knew that one day I would be a mother, but it's the biggest joy I could ever imagine. I'm lucky to have her, and I know that, she told British Vogue when the mother-daughter graced the cover together. Two years later, she announced the arrival of her son. She's wanted a baby for a long time, more than 10 years, a source told People after the birth of her daughter. And anyone who surprised Naomi is having a baby on her own, her own way, and on her own timetable doesn't know Naomi Campbell. Now, she's encouraging her friends to consider becoming mothers later in life, if they want to. I'm telling them all, do it, don't hesitate, she told British Vogue. The model has been careful to keep her kids' lives as private as possible. She has avoided mentioning their names, sharing photos of their faces, or revealing their exact birthdays. That said, she has given little glimpses into family life from time to time. Today, the model lives quietly with her two children between her native London and a beautiful secondary home in the tranquil seaside town of Malindi, Kenya. Overlooking the Indian Ocean, her idyllic retreat is the epitome of indoor-outdoor living. Vladislav, on the other hand, continues conquering the real estate world with a new woman, Russian top model Kristina Romanova. Together, they have two daughters, Jasmine and Alexandra. Will the couple ever get back together? We will never know. This is World of Affluence, and thank you for watching. Do not forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell for exclusive insights into the lives of the top 1% of the world.